Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we've got the SG900S, a brush GPS drone. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we've got the SG900S. So this is a GPS drone by a company called ZZZ. Last week you saw that I had a video up showing this was coming this week on my channel. I'm quite excited to get this even though the bad luck I've been having with these little brush, brushed GPS drones. So let's see if this one's any better. So to start off you get the, the drone itself, the controller which I'll discuss in a minute, and then you get two chargers. This one, this white one, is actually to charge the controller. So the controller doesn't need batteries, it's rechargeable, which is a massive plus. You must use a white charger because it's a lower voltage than this charger because the charger that comes in the bag with these two spare props is for charging the battery now this battery is not a one cell it's a 2s battery so it's 7.4 volts so it needs this cable to charge it it is usb it takes around an hour and 20 minutes to charge and it's in 1100 milliamp hours so that's why you get the two cables and if you buy one of these make sure you don't mix them up because this will not charge it this will not charge that battery it just won't, won't turn on so Let's have a quick look at what you get. So, this is the, bat so the battery goes in here, underneath. It looks like it's got an SD card slot here. Unfortunately, it hasn't. This records to your mobile device. It is a downside, but um, it's one of those things, unfortunately, there's not a lot we can do about it. It doesn't have an SD card. I don't particularly like the ones that record to your phone, but we'll, time will tell, and the proof will be in the pudding. The battery goes in, if you look at the little ledge there, that goes in the back, and then you click it into place. To take it out, it's got these two little pullbacks, which are really nice, so very reminiscent of something DJI might do, and then you pull the battery out. Let's just turn the controller off. Let's just have a quick look at the controller. So this is your controller. As I say, it is rechargeable. So it's looking for a signal. So the red one, red light tells me it's looking for a signal for a craft, and these three are your charge indicators. So 33%, 66%, 100% full. On the front you've got some buttons, you've got here, you have a speed button, so that's your rates, that is your return to home, that is your video button, and that one is for your camera. And on the back you've got four more buttons. These two at this side appear to do nothing. This button here is 3D flips, and this button here, sorry, if you can see that very well. So this button here is 3D flips, and this button there is for your take off and land. It has nice fake antennas on the back. Now, I don't know whether they are fake antennas or a stand. I thought they were fake antennas at first, but the more I look at it, the more I think it might just be a stand. Anyway, your phone goes in the top. And these all fold down quite small and neat. I actually like the controller. It feels quite light. It's very plasticky, but... I love the way the phone goes in. It holds it nice. And you can angle these. So it doesn't matter if your phone's a bit wider. These angle about, which is really nice. Much better than some of the ones I've used recently. So, hold the button down on the drone. And wait for it to connect. Okay, so it's stopped flashing fast and now it's got these. So now it's flashing quite fast, but that's looking for a GPS signal. If you can see, they're not the brightest LEDs in the world. So it's got reds at the back, green at the front, and it'll flash till it finds a GPS lock. Once it gets a GPS lock, you're good to go. You can adjust that with the app and have it so it doesn't need to have a lock to fly. I'd say leave it as it is. So it weighs 225 grams, so it is under the magic 250 gram mark. It's not very heavy and it feels... The plastic feels quite cheap. It's very reminiscent in design of the Vizio, so as you see, you just fold it down and then it folds back out and it locks into place by these little interference catches there. So there's no switches or buttons you have to press in to lock it up and down, which I like. The camera is manually controlled by your hand, that's all you can do is just by the app and you just set it before you set off. That's as high as it goes. And that's as low as it goes. So, as I say, I'm disappointed with the fact it's not got a SD card, but what it is is what it is. It has obviously four brushed motors that are gear driven, 
and it's good for about 10 minutes flight time on the included battery which isn't that bad now hopefully this is going to have a bit more lift about it for the fact it's running on two cells than the ones I've been reviewing especially the one I did last week which is horrible is only on one cell so with the controller it's a simply a matter of fact of sticks in to arm your motors and then take off and then you hit your take off button and then if you go stick down that way and stick up that way it will let you calibrate the compass the, com the compass is a simple matter of three times spinning camera down sorry three again the lights will all go back to the state they're in at the minute or solid if you've got GPS and you're ready to fly so let's have a quick look at the app so you need to connect, just connect it quickly to my Wi-Fi. I should have done this earlier, but I didn't. So it's connected to my Wi-Fi. And then the app you want is LWFPV. It does actually come with a manual that's really nice for the app and shows you all the controls on the app. And the app is lovely. You'll see it in a minute. I love the app. It's similar to what I've used before, but this one actually works. So we we'll just go into the app, hit start on there, and you're in. So you've got your mode control, that will allow you to switch and fly on your phone. You've got your return to home, your lock button, your take off and land, your virtual reality mode, if you've got some goggles, video, camera, and view your pictures. And then up here you've got your altitude, your speed, your positional, your amount of GPS satellites and where you are. But also a really nice battery meter that actually tells you in percent what it's got in. The one I did last week just had a little, ga a little gauge that lit up green that didn't work at all. And this does actually work. And then you got maps which actually work again. So these are nice little features. So what I did was I... Uh, I've already set this up, I haven't flown it. So I've already recorded, all I've done is record something with it held in my hand. So if I go into the here, and this is filter to the videos, so you can get a quick impression of what it looks like from the camera's point of view before I fly it. I just wanted to see what it looked like. As you can see, I'll have a box down here with an insert of, this, of another video I've done so you can see it a bit better. And again, this hasn't been flying, so all you're watching is me with my very shaky hand holding it in my hand to see what the image quality looked like and how many frames it chopped. It doesn't actually look that bad. It's not the best in the world, but it doesn't look that bad. So, that's the app. So overall, I do actually like, like what it looks like, what it is. I prefer if it had an SD card, but the big proof of course is gonna be in what this thing flies like. It'll live or die by how it flies now. The camera, as I keep saying, on these drones is an optional extra to me. I don't care whether it works that well or not. But it has to be able to fly because if it flies, I can stick a Mobius or something else on the top of it and get some decent ish footage. The one I tested last week was horrible. If this thing flies, then all well and good. I can live with the app. It costs about, I think it's for 78 quid. So for the money, I know what, you, what to expect. There's a lot of things I'm happy with. I'm happy with the rechargeable controller. I like the controller, I like the way it feels in my hand. It's nicely finished off. It is cheap and it is plastic as is the drone but at least the drone seems to do I've actually got GPS lock in here so the drone seems to do everything it needs to do so far let's see what it flies like let's see how good it is in the air how stable it is and we'll take it from there so thanks very much for watching I'll have part two up hopefully at the end of this week where you can see the flight footage and get my overall conclusion on it so in the meantime, have a fantastic week, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please hit the like button, and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.